Today I'm just going to do a little quick overview of my PJ Dump trailer. It's a 2019, the DL model, which means it's the low profile, which they got some big stickers back here just to let everybody know. Low pro, 24 inch deck height. So if you're interested in checking this out with me, then stick around. <music> So right up front here is where we're going to start. They've got an adjustable uh, hitch here, and that's about all I'm going to tell you about that. They say it on their website too, and they have a bunch of different options. So you can go to their website and see that, what you would like. But one big thing that's a positive is it's adjustable. Next, we'll come back here to the, um, the jack, the trailer jack. Nice heavy-duty jack. This one's a 12,000-pound Pro Series capacity. It works well, and it's it's definitely sturdy enough for the trailer. Keep an eye on going back. Comes to the next thing. We got the toolbox. This is a nice big toolbox. It's about I'd say about two feet two feet deep this way, two feet uh, wide, and uh, you can see the shape of it. You've got some room back here, which eventually I might end up putting a little winch right in here. We'll see. But that was important to me to make sure I had some space. This is where the plug-in is for the uh, charge rechargeable uh, battery that's inside. So you can just hook an out, hook a extension cord to a regular outlet and put the other end into that, and you're charging. Um, I wish that was over on the side, but uh, only reason being you're trying to reach back in here. It's a little bit of a distance, and and plug it in. I wish it was just a little easier to get to right there nice and easy you could uh, in the winter time you're gonna get some snow or something you'll be back here fiddling around trying to get it in there I just rinsed it all off so that's why it's wet in there but all right so let's pop this sucker open throw that back what it has is an arm I'm gonna set you down first real quick. sorry about that what it has is an arm just a little piece of metal that goes in the hole up here and that's how you hold your door open which is okay but I'm gonna do an upgrade I'll tell you about in a minute because this is where your hydraulics are when you open that up there's nothing to hold this door open so what everybody's gonna end up doing is just throwing that back there like that leaving it wide open and they might use the arm I doubt it though that way they can open this door up and lean it back and they can do whatever they need to in here. They can check their, their battery, which mine is at fair. That's after two dumps and lowers, bunch of fiddling around with it and also uh, sitting for a couple of days without charging. So uh, just an idea of those two loads of mulch is what I dumped with it. And then I played with this up and down while I was checking it all out. And then it sat here for two or three days. That's what I mean by the condition of the battery after that much use. Okay, so hydraulic pump, hydraulic reservoir, and your cable, which I think you got about 12 feet, maybe a little more. I don't really know the specs, but you can see it drops right down in there. And then you can actually close the doors. It's got a slot there, a slot in the front, and a slot on that side. You can also see they're very well greased and all of these hinges have grease um, fixtures on them your remote has got a magnet on the back so you can stick it onto whatever you want you can have all of this down inside of it keep this nice and neat out here I don't ever leave it out when I'm hauling I'll definitely put that back in but I was talking about one of the changes I'm gonna do on this door um, a lot of people like those little pneumatic rams uh, like you'd have in the back of a, a hatchback or a minivan on the back door when you, you raise it up it holds the door open and that would work real real well but the problem I have up here is most of the time in the cold weather those things freeze and when they freeze that's they're not actually freezing they're just getting really cold they don't operate that well and what happens eventually over a couple years is you'll open your door it'll hold them and then your door will slowly start coming down 
So where I live, you see a lot of people have flat spots on top of their heads. It's actually from holding the back of their minivan door open. That's not true. I made it up. So anyways, to fix this issue and what the issue is, is if you leave this door back all the way open and you use your dump tray, you raise it up. Like you, you get on a site and you just whip all this open. You get your tool out there and you grab your remote and you start hitting the buttons. You're going to tweak that door or you're going to rip up your... Uh, your tarp or something so what I'm gonna do is just weld a piece of chain right in here eventually and it's gonna go up to the door and it's gonna hold the door in an open position leaning back but it's gonna be enough so that the handle is cleared when you raise it up and down that way I can still open this up and leave it open with one hand while I'm servicing doing hydraulic maintenance or whatever this toolbox up here though lots of room all kinds of tie downs chains and other crap i'm sure i'll be adding more things in there eventually it'll become a storage area so, that's it on the toolbox i'm gonna i'm gonna raise this up now a little bit we'll just go over a couple things still got battery life go over a couple things underneath now this is the uh the low pro How they're able to do that they dropped it down i think it's three or four inches lower deck height than other trailers um, and how they did it is with the i-beam if i understand correctly they're able to use uh, the i-beam and fit everything down inside of it and that's how they dropped the uh, three or four inches i'm gonna raise it up some more Now the reason I raised it up is just to show you the overall frame under here. They do it on the PJ websites they show you, but they go through it kind of quick. It's nice and clean, lots of bracing. One thing that I've found too is this arm is a safety. And when that arm is up and I want to work on that ram or clean around it or whatever, come down on the trailer, what I want you to, to notice is right here where this part right here goes into this pocket up there. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, do you see how it's gonna hit right there? Not a big deal. I just move this, move this forward. But if I'd kept coming down, it would have hit right on this metal here. And there's a little dent in the top up there where somebody's already done it once. It's not a big deal, but maybe check yours out before you pick it up. Make sure that this piece right here is actually welded on where it's going to all line up. Or it could be tweaking some things up. It's not that big of a deal, but it's not going to be holding that trailer up above you safely like it should be. So make sure that's in there right. I know it, so I'm not, uh, not going to have an issue with it. Um, while we're up in the air, I'm going to show you this too. Actually, I'm going to raise you up a little more. Sounds like I need to get a little grease into those fittings. They have an option for longer ramps. And this right here is where your ramps are held. And it looks like to me, this is the end of the ramp right here where my finger is. And so they could go about a foot more with those ramps and that might be handy for some people uh, depending on what you're doing with your trailer and I'm just pointing that out because it might be something that you haven't thought of until after you get your trailer and you're like oh darn I wish I'd gotten longer ramps they do offer longer ramps or if you have the capabilities you can build them yourself or add on to these ones somehow I'm sure but basically what you'll run into is when you have your your ramps coming down and the bed of the trailer is flat you get that center point and anybody that's tried to load a lawnmower onto the back of a trailer that has a, a real steep ramp has high centered it with the mower deck onto the back of the trailer and this trailer being a low pro helps out with that problem a lot you don't have that drastic angle from your ramps to the flat deck 
Now being a dump trailer, you can also raise it up a little bit and that will take away that, that um, nasty angle that you get high centered on as well. So it's not that big of an issue, but there is an option for longer ramps and there is room for it underneath. So I just wanted to point that out. All right, well, I'm gonna put this down and then we'll go back and talk about the gate. Down, you'll see how this fits right inside the, uh, the framework. There you go that also gives you an idea of how fast it's going to go up or down and of course when you got a load on it it's going to go a little bit slower going up but it's still got plenty of torque i haven't hauled anything really heavy with it yet so you know i haven't done a load of stone or anything so i can't speak from experience on that but never heard of anybody having any trouble with with a PJ trailer having trouble bringing a load up the dump. Okay, this one came with the tarp kit on it. Where I live, it's the law to cover your load, so they don't even mess around. They sell them all with the tarp kits. Simple as that. We'll come to the top, we've got stake pockets. Two by four will fit in this one and that one. A two by four will fit in this one. It won't here, it won't here, and it won't here. So you're kind of getting the idea of what I'm saying. Um, I don't know if that's the design, if that's how they're supposed to do it, but I got a two by four right here. But perfect fit does not fit. So I don't know if they've designed these pockets to only go with their setup, but to me, when somebody says it has stake pockets, I would assume that a two by four would fit in there. Now they're also wider than the two by four, so what I'm gonna do is take a two by six, and each one's gonna be custom cut to fit in here and then I'm gonna to have to I don't have a planer so I'm gonna to have to use my table saw set it on its highest setting and thin that board down just enough so it'll slide in there so kind of pain in the neck and I'm not sure if it's supposed to fit in there or not so if that's important to you to be able to add you know bring this trailer home and that day just get some two by fours and bam slap some sides up on it you're not gonna be able to do that if these pockets aren't a little bit bigger so that being said, like I said, it will fit. It will fit in a couple of them, but you gotta put it in at an angle. And then you do one of those numbers there back and forth and you can get it down in there. But that's not, in my opinion, a stake pocket that you're just gonna build your some side rails out of. Like I said, maybe they built it like this specifically for their side rails and they want you to buy them. I don't know. Okay, so stake pockets, tarp. That'll bring us back to the doors. We've got some good options back here. Got the barn door style. If you get the pin out of the way. Barn door style. And they show you this on their website. They, uh, Push that door open and that little latch right here, this little latch right here, just hits this plate, rides right up there pretty slick. Unless it's not on there right, adjusted right. So what I'm gonna have to do is probably take a pair of vice grips and pinch right on here and then tap this up so it holds this up just a little bit more because what's happening is it's hitting there and it won't go but if you just lift with your finger just a little bit and then slide the door back it hits there works like a champ so a little adjustment on that but it's definitely a handy feature you can open it up have the door held open while you are uh, doing the dump so that's pretty nice let's just one thing for you to look at when you're when you're purchasing it to make sure. And of course, it's got the uh, the gate that will dump, so you can spread. You put your chain right in here, and you can put your chain through this right here. Put your pin in, hook it however you want to. Hit this handle, 
and the whole thing will slide open when you're dumping and the chain will hold it the chains come with it they're in the toolbox i haven't had to do that yet so that's why they're there so overall i'm very happy with this this trailer i've used it to dump four loads this is just two loads of mulch right here and two of them already been spread out on the little road that we're making here so nothing heavy yet uh, like I said and I've also used it to haul this little tractor which you've seen in other videos if you watch my channel the 28XL Mahindra HST and it fits in there with about a foot in front of the uh, bucket and about 8 10 inches behind this receiver that I've built and put on there so that uh, that tractor fills it up pretty good without the back attachment it have plenty you know a lot more room and if I had a brush hog or whatever probably take the bucket off and uh, it would all fit in there so very happy with the trailer uh, a couple of the reasons I bought it is I'm gonna be snow blowing for people this winter hopefully and one of the first things I did was loaded it with the snow blower on it and with the snow blower on the front of the tractor it sticks out far enough even with it up all the way in the highest position the front of the front tires are not coming up on the ramp yet to raise it up so my snow blower is actually just hitting the ramps right when my front tires start to hit there so I go probably two inches where it's dragging a little bit on the ramps which isn't a problem it's smooth steel and it goes right up and then uh, it, it's no problem at all so those longer ramps that I was talking about might help me out there in that issue or parking on just a little bit of a hill or something like that but again it's it's not an issue it's a flat edge on the bottom of the snow blower which is made to go onto the ground and, and dig up snow ride on the pavement and it's just riding on the metal so it's not doing any any damage or anything but things you might want to think about before you pick up a trailer I'm also going to be hauling my ice shanty with this believe it or not when I take my ice shanty to the lake I no longer have to borrow a trailer or anything I can load it right in here tie it down and take it wherever I want to take it which is nice and I don't hardly ever use my snowmobile where I need to trailer it anywhere but I have the option now so that's why I got this trailer with the dump it's like owning a dump truck without the expenses and um, might be a little trickier getting into some places but you know, it is what it is so I tried to kill all the birds with one stone buying this trailer and I think I've done an alright job. I think I've gone big enough. I think I've gone uh, small enough, if you can believe that. And, um, you know, taking care of all the purposes that I would need a trailer for. So I plan on having it the rest of my life. And I think I've, I've done pretty well with the PJ. So, alright, well thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to click subscribe, like the videos, and share them with your friends. Thanks.